Lesson seven of PHP magic methods, the ISET, or is set magic method. So to get started with, I'm gonna get out of caps locks and I'm gonna create this class called channel. Next, I'm gonna create the public magic I set or is set, I'm gonna say is set magic method. And then we're simply going to say their dump name. So how do we call the is set magic method? Well, let's say we have a new channel. I'm just going to say new channel. And we say if channel name, we're going to echo hello world or channel name, channel name. Else echo channel name does not exist. Just like that. Okay. Next, we're just going to run php dot slash iset. See what we get. Well, we get this uh, channel name does not exist. Why is that? Well, because we haven't defined it. So we have two choices here. One is we could set the channel name. And then we could say, I don't know, uh, cool channel. Just like that. And then we have the channel name. Or what we can do is so we can hit our else statement because that's really the problem is when we get rid of this, we're not able to hit our else statement, right? It's not even letting us execute this check to see if we have channel name. Like that's really all we want to do. So what we can do is we can add this is set method. And by checking if the channel name is set, it will automatically go to the is set magic method. And so we'll just say return false because we know it's not set. So let's clear this out and we'll rerun it. And we'll say channel name does not exist. We also get our bare dump. So the only other way to actually access this is set magic method is to use this empty function. And of course is set and empty are the inverse. So we need to add this exclamation. If it is not empty, then echo channel. It, else, if it is empty, echo channel name does not exist string. And so if we do this, we'll get our var dump again. We properly get it. Okay. So there's not honestly too many real world examples of using is set. Um, the magic method is set that I can think of. But one of them that I do like using is this. The biggest thing is I don't want to have to use an empty or is set function to check if my channel name exists. So we're actually going to do something that I personally like. We're going to do this. We're going to say public function get our last tutorials magic method. We're going to say property. Just like that. Next, we're going to say this property. And we're simply going to say return iset this property. This will in turn call our magic method. And then we're going to say if it exists, return true, otherwise return false. So we're always returning a boolean when we call a property that does not exist. So after that, we're going to go back up to our is set magic method. First, I'm going to change name to property. After that, we're going to say, if it exists, so return is set, and then this property with the dollar sign, and is not empty. Then we're going to say, empty this property, and then we're going to add our excl ugh, exclamation. And then we're going to say, return the fact that it exists and that it is not empty. And then we're going to make that a boolean. If it exists and is not empty, then return true. Otherwise, if it does not exist or it is empty, return false. So check this out. Now that we have that set up, we can do PHP ISET, 
and we can check the validity of our property without needing to add is set or not empty. The last thing I can really think of with is set is that it can check private properties. So if we do like private um, and then we do name and then we said, okay, I don't know, public function construct. And we'll just do this name equals example name. Then we will get our example name. So check this out. And actually, this is a little bit of a logic error that you should be aware of. So if we clear this out and we try to use PHP slash is set, we actually hit this. So why is that? Why are we actually hitting channel name? Well, because of this scope, because we're in the scope outside of our class and name is private, normally if we did channel name, like uh, if we do channel name and we try to set it is simplify, then it's going to air out on us. It's private, right? So why doesn't it air out on us down here? Well, it's because we added our magic get method. And so whenever we try to get a property on an instance that is either not defined or is out of the scope that we can access, then it's going to do this. It's going to say, okay, if this property exists is set, it will call this. If it's not empty and it exists, it will return true or false. If it's true, it will actually get this property from a scope where we can access property as private or the private property. It will return it. And so we can access it here. Otherwise, it will return false. So what we should really be doing here is we should be doing true or false. And that takes out the ability to really use our get magic method. So if you're using it for something else, I would just say just work around it um, and don't use it as a way to call our is set. But if you're not using your magic get method, you're not using your magic is set method, and maybe you're having to check a lot of properties on the class, then I would say, yeah, yeah, definitely set this up and uh, use it this way. So that's really all I got on is set. So is set again, it is called when you call the is set or empty magic methods. And then it will say, okay, I'm gonna hit this magic method with the given property, using that property, we can check against this property. And if it does not exist, then we can return true or false. And by combining that with the power of our magic get method, we are able to just say if channel name, get channel name. So that's all I got today, guys. Um, this is Zachary Warren with Clean Code Studio, Clean Code, Clean Life. Um, and the last thing we're going to do actually is we're going to say public that up. And then we're going to do channel name equals clean code studio all right all right all right and of course if we run that now everything will work channel name clean code studio and then we'll say please like and as always guys this is zachary horn with clean code studio clean code clean life that's the magic is set php method in a nutshell Simple life, simple as yes.